Welcome back to Wellness for Life. I'm here with Jenny Field of Pelican Drug in Pelican Rapids, Minnesota. We're going to talk about something kind of important today, medicine cabinet safety. What's in your medicine cabinet? Jenny, all the time, kids get into stuff, people take too much of this or that. Give us some statistics on medicine cabinet safety. Well, every minute of every day, a child gets into medication that they're not supposed to. So the Poison Control Center fields a call every minute, which is a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of kids in trouble, too. Yeah. What types of medications are involved in accidental overdosing? Pretty much everything. Um, pain medications, antihistamines, over-the-counter medicines like the Tylenol, multivitamins, herbal supplements, cough and cold medicine, everything. Okay. So when not kept in check, there's a lot of dangers in the medicine cabinet. Yeah. What could accidental poisoning look like? Well, or medication poisoning, sorry. It can really vary. Um, depending on what you take, um, it can be kind of mild drowsiness to um, seizures and um, complete um, consciousness, um, vomiting, tummy pain. It can kind of run the gamut. So anything that's out of the ordinary, unexplained, you know, should really try and check it out. Okay. What should I do if I suspect an accidental poisoning? Well, the first thing to do is not to panic. Okay. Um, Easier said than done. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, if you notice, you know, there's a pill bottle open or something like that, and, you, and you're pretty positive, first thing to do, um, check to make sure there's nothing in the mouth still. If there's anything in the mouth, take it out. If they're unconscious, having trouble breathing, or having a seizure, call 911. That's definitely the first step. Um, but if they're, you know, seem to be fine, but you can tell that something's been taken, call the poison control center right away and then you can give two ounces of water and then they'll give you further instruction based on what was taken and kind of an estimate of how much was taken. Okay. So if I want to prevent accidental poisonings, where is the best place to keep medications? Up and away and out of sight is always the best option. Always use, you know, closed tight containers and then think of places that you keep medicine that you're not, that you don't think of. Purses and nightstands. Yeah. So we, we all keep a bottle of Tylenol in our purse for a headache. Mm -hmm. So that's another place to think about keeping your purse on the, on the counter or something like okay. that. Okay, so kids can't get into it. Yep. Okay. How should medication be given? Medication should always be given with the dosing device that, it's, that it comes with. Mm -hmm. um, not all dosing devices are the same and um, not all spoons in our kitchen are the same. So one teaspoon in your house isn't the same as one teaspoon in my house. Gotcha. And that can be a big problem. Okay. So let's talk about Tylenol. Tylenol is a big issue when it comes to um, accidental poisonings and overdosing. It's in pretty much everything. Um, most of our cold, cough and cold medicines have Tylenol in it. It's mm -hmm. a combination of lots of things. Um, uh, pain medicines, prescription pain medicines, and over-the-counter pain medicines, a lot of them have Tylenol also. Okay. So reading your labels and checking to make sure that you know, you're not doubling up on, yep. on multiple products with Tylenol, and then children's Tylenol uh, isn't labeled real great for children under two. Right. It just says ask a doctor. Right. So in that case, either call your doctor or call your pharmacist. We can help you, based on the child's weight, give you an appropriate dose. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. If I have some medication in my cabinet that I don't need anymore, where can I take it? Well, Ottertail County has a great program. They have six spots available where you can drop off unwanted medications. Um, no questions asked. They, they don't need to know anything. Um, they just ask that you um, remove any personal information, your name from the label, okay. but, but keep them in the original containers with the name of the medication on them. They're um, located at the Pelican Rapids Police Department, the PERM, and the Parkers Prairie Police Departments, as well as the Ottertail County Sheriff's Office in Fergus Falls, and then the Ottertail Operations Center in Ottertail. Okay, great. Do you happen to know the phone number for the Poison Control Helpline? I do. You do? It is 1-800-222-1222. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jenny. That was some very useful information.